A very small but important point to make here is that in this lecture we're going to see not all bond vibrations show up as absorption bands in the IR spectrum. And what we're going to see here, key point number two, is that a bond that is centered in a plane of symmetry will not show an absorption peak because when the bond stretches, its dipole moment does not change. And we saw that before, in order for the molecule to absorb light and to have an absorption peak, the dipole moment has to change. So let me give you a specific example here. Consider this molecule right here. Notice we got a C double bond C, but right in the middle of that bond is a plane of symmetry for this molecule. That means if this bond stretches like this, its dipole moment will not change. Therefore, we will not see an observed peak in the IR for this bond. Remember, going back to our chart here, we saw that C double bond C bonds peak at around 1680 to 1600, and the intensity is medium. But look at the IR spectrum for our example molecule. This is what it looks like. Notice, we do not see an observable peak in that region. So careful here, your bond may have a certain functional group, but it may not appear as an absorption band in your IR spectrum. We just simply need to be aware of this fact. So what have we learned here, our key points? What we saw is that, number one, not all vibrations show absorption bands in the IR spectrum. And we have to know too when that happens. A bond that is centered in a plane of symmetry will not show an absorption peak because we should know the reason why, when the bond stretches, its dipole moment does not change. This concept is called infrared inactive. We would basically say that C double bond in our example molecule is infrared inactive.